So in this video, we're going to implement user email verification. So when somebody registers an account, they will get a link in an email which they must confirm. So since Laravel 5.8, they've made this very simple with built-in traits and interfaces for email verification. So if you've been following along with my other user roles tutorial, you can carry on with that project. But for this, I'm going to start from scratch. So if you do have the code from that course, you can skip this first bit and then continue on. If you are starting from scratch like I am, you need to create the Laravel authentication scaffolding. And to do that, it's a simple PHP artisan make colon auth, and then we need to migrate that into the database. And after that, we can just spin up a development server, and that's a simple PHP artisan serve. Let's test this in the browser. Now we can see we have a default Laravel installation with login and register feature. So during this video, I'm going to be using MailTrap. So this is a free service that gives you an inbox so you can test out your emails. We need the credentials from this, so sign up and click on Demo Inbox. When you come to the Demo Inbox, you'll be presented with this default page and just in the drop down, click PHP Laravel. And this will give you all the details you need to put into your .env file. So copy these, so head back over to your project. In the root of the project, there's a .env file, so open that. Scroll down to the mail configuration and paste this in instead of the default details. And then just save on that. So in Laravel 5.8 and above, as I mentioned earlier, the Verify Email system is already created for us. We just need to make a few changes. So under Database, if you look at the Migrations and the Create Users Table Migration, you can see already in here we have a timestamp column email verified at. And that is what Laravel will use to see whether the user has verified their email or not. So we need to let Laravel's model know that we want the user to verify their email. So under app and then user.php, we can see there's already a use illuminate contracts auth must verify email. So what we need to do is implement this. So after extends authenticatable, we can do implements must verify email. And then we just need to protect our routes. So under the route, we come down to our routes folder and we click on web. And then inside of the auth routes, we just want to pass in an array. We want to pass it with a key of verify and a value of true. So if you've been following along with my user roles tutorial, you already be aware of the concept of middleware. So what Laravel gives us is a verified middleware that we can attach to our routes that will say, do not let these users into this route without them being verified. And I'm just going to show you here as an example, so we do middleware and then verified. So obviously this doesn't really make too much sense just doing it on forward slash home, but this will give you an example of how to apply it. So one more thing of note is after the user has been verified, we need to redirect them somewhere. So if you come under app, HTTP, controllers, auth, and under verification controller. And then inside this controller, there's a protected property called redirect to, and that's currently set at forward slash home. So if you wanted to redirect the user somewhere else after they've verified their email, this is where you'd change it. Okay, that's the only changes we need to make to this. So let's just give this a try. So under our application, come to forward slash register and register a new user. So I'm just going to fill in some dummy data here because it doesn't really matter what the email address is because we've got the mail trap set up. So just click register. And you can see now, instead of directing us to our dashboard, we get this message saying we must verify our email address. So if we come over to MailTrap now, you can see we have a new email in our inbox. And this is the email sent from Laravel to verify the email address. So let's just click the verify email address link. And you can see we are now logged in. So we just jump back to our original tab and we just give this a refresh. You can see we're logged in and we're verified. And it's redirected us back to forward slash home as that is what's set by default in that verification controller. So that's it, that's all we need to do to set up user email verification in Laravel. As you can see, it's a super quick, easy process. But please remember, you do need Laravel 5.8 or above to be able to use this.